just take a look at this. Remember, when the day comes to settle the feud, you must fight as if it were your own father. I shall. And here's the man himself, Graham McGrath from the Sea Dragon. Welcome, Graham. Hello. So what do you actually play in the programme? I play Justin the Briton, who gets kidnapped by the Vikings. Oh, it sounds exciting. And it starts tomorrow at 4.40. Watch it. Scalex trick. You're in and on, up your gun, smoke on your wheels. How does life in a fast lane feel? Scalex trick. There is only one place you can see Iron Mike's next fight live. On Sky. See if Tyson can bounce back. Subscribe now to Sky Movies for one year and you'll get your first three months movies free. Plus the Tyson fight live and access to eight channels. Call free and subscribe now. you've ever tried Philadelphia with garlic and herbs on a slice of pumpernickel, have you? No. No, of course not. I've tried it on a bat, though. It was very nice. Bat? Bat. 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 Manta Foss, searching the universe for Earth's twin planet. The Manta Wolves, the Manta Sharks, and the Manta Hawks, led by Commander Quest against Major Vex and the Viper Squad. An entire space battle force in one gigantic ship. Manta Force from Bluebird. Graham, have you ever seen Mike and Angelo before? Yes, I have. It's good, isn't it? Really, really good. Well, it's time for Mike and Angelo now, and Mother arrives, and there's a surprise announcement, and uh, Rita and Mike and Angelo are wondering what it is. Let's have a look. He came from another dimension, from a different universe beyond infinity, and he fell to Earth with a bump, into Mike King's wardrobe. It's not easy stepping out into an alien world where anything can happen. But who is the mysterious stranger who answers to the name of Angelo? Ask Rita King. Better still, ask her son Mike, whose world is turned upside down when Angelo comes to stay. Watch the show. It's Mike and Angelo. Somebody moved it? Oh, what a surprise. Well, why didn't you tell us you were coming? Well, we didn't know ourselves until last night. It was it was one of those last-minute things. Oh, well, so how was your holiday, for heaven's sake? Oh, it was terrific. Rita, it was absolutely terrific. Mm -hmm. I can't tell you, we had the best time. Uh, we? Nancy, darling, I seem to be a little short in the Sterling department. Oh. Cabby fellow's barking for his fare. How do you do? Hi. I should take care of it. Uh, better give him a tip, hey? Don't want him to think we're stingy. Oh, sure, right. <laughs> Shan't be a tip. Well, what do you think? Who is that? Well, really, I can't begin to tell you. Well, who is he? Well, his name is Terence... Excuse me. He's the Honorable Terence Crichton Smythe. <laughs> Sounds like a firm of solicitors. He's genuine <laughs> English aristocracy. Oh, he's such a gent. You're gonna love him. He's so adorable. And that accent of his slays me. Oh, Mother. <laughs> well, I'm glad that you made a friend. I'm real pleased. 
Uh, oh, uh, Terrence, did you bring the cases? Would have done, Nancy, dear, but you know me and my bad back. All that sitting on the plane. The boy will bring them, won't you, Sonny? There's um, a good lad. <laughs> sure, no sweat, sir. Terrence, uh, I'd like you to meet my daughter, Rita. Good grief, your daughter, Nancy? You can't seriously expect me to believe that a lady of your tender years can have a grown-up daughter? <laughs> oh. uh, Delighted to meet you. Uh, likewise. Um, come, come on through. After you, my dear. Oh, such lovely manners. <laughs> I see you haven't uh, cleaned the house much since I was last here. Well, if you told me you were coming, Mother. So, um, where did you two meet, then? Monte. Monte Carlo. Oh, very nice. And very romantic. <laughs> oh, here, we brought you a present. Oh. Oh, isn't that nice? <laughs> hey, sit down, you must be exhausted. Oh, isn't that lovely? <laughs> Is Michael, my grandson. No, I can't believe that. You a grandmother? Now, oh, come on, you know I am. He's such a kidder. <laughs> so, uh, how long are you planning to stay then, Mother? Well, uh, how long does it uh, take to tie the knot in this country? Uh, tie the knot? What? Well, didn't I tell you? Terence and I are, are going to get married. <laughs> oh, I must show you the holiday snaps we took. Where do you see Terrence in his Bermuda shorts? <laughs> Whee! Ah, oh, Terrence, help! I'm being attacked! Terrence! Who is that? Um, mother, control yourself, Angelo. Put mother down! A Angelo? He's not Angelo. You're not Angelo. No, Grandma, this isn't that Angelo. This is this Angelo. <laughs> <laughs> what happened to the other Angelo? Oh, it's his How to leave town. His brother had to leave town. Very sad <laughs> So, you're the new lodger? Yeah. And you're Angelo, too? Angelo, too. Exactly. <laughs> How did you know who I was? Well, Angelo, one, told me all, all about you. Uh -huh. <laughs> well, let's clear that up. All very fascinating, my darling. But it's time now that I was uh, toddling off. Toddling off where? To the hotel. Nothing of the sort. You're going to stay right here. That's all right with you, isn't it, Rita? Oh, no, I couldn't presume on your good folk. He couldn't presume, Mother. I'll be all right. He'll be all right. Hilton will do me fine. The Hilton will do him fine. Now, out, of the, out of the question. I mean, that will cost you a fortune. Sweetie, what can I say? You're so persuasive. Then I'll stay. Attaboy. <laughs> you. Take my case up to my room, Sonny, and uh, run me a bath while you're at it. <laughs> now, tea was mentioned. Don't you just love him? I sure do. Oh, yes, I do. I do. He's a real sweetie. Do you think you like my wobble wave transport? Angelo, a later. <laughs> Fixed it. Hi, Angelo. Your skateboard. Oh, yeah? What have you done to it? Aha! It is no longer an ordinary, humdrum, run-of-the-mill, boring old skateboard. I can see there. What? You're gonna love it. Come on. Now's our chance, while the others are out. The Angelo patent-pending, vertical takeoff, jet-propelled, supersonic, flying skateboard. <laughs> flying skateboard. You're kidding me. No, you're not kidding me? I am giving you the honour of taking it on its first test flight. Oh, no, I think I'll pass on that one. <laughs> it's gonna knock you out. That's what I'm afraid of. <laughs> come on, come on. I guarantee it's 100% safe. That's what you said about that a pneumatic pogo stick. <laughs> you can still see the holes my head made in the kitchen ceiling. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on, live dangerously. What have you got to lose? Well, my arms, my legs, and my life. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what else is there doing on a Sunday evening? It. Oh, hey, I thought you said this was safe. Well, safe-ish. <laughs> Good. Now, ignition on. <laughs> Chocks away. 
Flight 101, you are now clear for takeoff. Hey, it really works, Angel. This is great. <laughs> Never again, that's it, that's it. I'm not setting foot on that stupid skateboard again. No way. <laughs> well, fair enough. Lucky for you, I fixed most of the problems with the pogo stick. Still, back to the drawing board. <laughs> oh, Mom's new vase. Now I'm in it. I would be fascinated to know how this lovely, delicate vase that my mother carried so carefully halfway around Europe without a single scratch has managed to wind up at the bottom of the dustbin, smashed to pieces, and covered under a pile of potato peelings. Michael! Huh? <laughs> Don't huh me, my lad. Huh? I... <laughs> this has Michael King written all over it. It was the weirdest thing that... I was just coming downstairs and a uh, Concorde flew over. You ever heard that? Oh, what a racket. Whole house shook. Next thing you know, psh, no more vase. Shouldn't be allowed that. Flying that low on a Sunday. <laughs> Morning, Angelo. Morning. Is Mike gone to school? Yep. I can see you've not gone to work. <laughs> a day off. Uh -huh. No cornflakes left. Nope. Hmm. Where's the milk? No milk left either. <laughs> oh, well, I'll have some toast. No bread. No eggs, no bacon. No nothing. Why is it all gone? Straight down the gullet of the Honorable Jaws Crichton Smythe. Terence. <laughs> Your new stepfather. Thank you for reminding me of that happy thought, Angelo. Don't you like him? Does a turkey like Christmas? <laughs> no, no, I suppose not. Uh, there is something about that guy that just doesn't ring true. The way he swans around as if he owns the place. All that big talk. Good grief, Nancy. You can't seriously expect me to believe that a woman of your tender years has got a grown-up daughter. <laughs> <laughs> what a creep. My mother has finally lost her mind. Hi, we're back. Come and look at all the lovely presents Nancy insisted on buying for me. Oh, just a few. <laughs> Your mother's an absolute gem, you know. The moment I let slip the fact that it's my birthday tomorrow, there was no stopping her. <laughs> you dreadful woman, you're going to spoil me. It's only money. You can't take it with you. <laughs> Do you like my new gold watch? Oh, yeah, you're very nice. <laughs> and is that a new suit? I couldn't resist it. Doesn't he look handsome? Oh, and what do you think of the golf clubs? They're the best you can buy, you know. They ought to improve my game. Do you play, old chap? Me? Oh, I've never tried. <coughs> <laughs> no. Yes, well, you can be my caddy. Um, bring the clubs and we'll give it a few practice rounds in the garden. Come on. Oh, my feet are killing me. I could sure use a coffee. What's wrong with you? I don't believe you. Buying all those expensive presents, spending all that money. Wait a minute. Hang on a minute, Rita. It wasn't me that was doing all the buying. He bought me something, too, you know. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Look. A mug. And just look what it says. <laughs> Mother, 
There is only one mug around here, and that's you. Now, what's that supposed to mean? Nothing. Oh, don't give me that. I can spot that pout a mile off. What have I done now? Mother, it's really none of my business. No, but you're going to tell me anyway, right? Right. You're making a big mistake. That it? No. Thought not. If you want my opinion, and it's only my opinion, that guy is a leech, a loser. Oh! How's he going for? <laughs> I'll pay for it. I'll pay for no, it. No, no, it's not necessary, darling. Accidents will happen. Here, just go and enjoy yourself. <laughs> Look, Rita, you're in no position to lecture me about men. You're not exactly a prize winner when it comes to picking husbands. Thank you. Oh, look at it from my side, honey. I've been alone a long time since your dad died, and after a while you get the feeling like you're, like you're on the scrap heap. Oh, nonsense. No, it's not nonsense. I don't want to spend the rest of my life talking to myself. What do you want me to do, buy a parrot? Oh, Mother, for heaven's sake, next you'll be telling me that every woman has to have a man. That old song. Well, that's perfectly true. OK, OK. But does it have to be that man? <laughs> oh! could see the kind of man he is. She doesn't know anything about him. None of us do. Hmm. Leave it to me. I'll find out everything there is to find out about the Honorable Terence Crichton Smythe. Mm -hmm. hmm. There. Here it is. The Angelo patent pending battery operated, put it on the head. Oh, Angelo, over. never mind what it's called. What does it do? It makes people tell the truth. The whole truth and nothing but the truth. Anybody wearing this is hypnotized into telling only the truth. You can't be serious. Hi, Mom. Hi, Angelo. Well, let's just see if this little invention of yours works, shall we? OK. We'll try it on Michael. Uh, try what on Michael? What? Now, don't worry. It's perfectly safe. Oh, that's what you always say. If this fries my brains, I'm not going to be happy. Wait. <laughs> Is that it? <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's all yours. Ask him whatever you like. Everything Mike tells you will be the truth. Yeah. Really? Well, this ought to be interesting. Who broke my vase, Michael? Was it Colin Court or was it you? Oh, it was me. I broke the vase. I did it. Uh, I thought as much. But it was Angel's fault. Oh, yes, he well, was the one who was going there to we are. <laughs> Pretty successful demonstration. Yes, I'd say. very successful. I was just getting into it. Oh, and I let the bath run over last week, you know? Ah, <laughs> hang on, hang on. I want to get all this down. <laughs> Oh, and you know the scratch in the side of the car? I did that. Uh -huh. <laughs> I lived in any over for a week. It was me who finished off the bowl of trifle. Oh. And I was the one who spilt chocolate milk all down the sofa. It was great. Hey, thank you. Thank you. Sign there. <laughs> I'm off now. You what, again? Well, try buying something for yourself this time, huh? No, I'm not going shopping. I'm going to the bank. Oh, the bank. Oh, hasn't young Terrence had his allowance today? Now, there's no need to be facetious. Terence is not coming with me. Uh -huh. And if you must know, I'm taking your advice. And I'm putting all of my jewelry into my British safety deposit box. Oh, I didn't know you had a British safety deposit box. <laughs> you see, there's a lot of things you don't know about your old mother. I'm not the bumbling bubblehead you think I am. No, it's where I'm keeping my real money. And nobody but nobody knows where the key is except me. <laughs> You happy? Happier. OK. See you later, Mother. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Off bye you bye. go. Hey, guys! Listen, here's the plan. Mother's gone to the bank, so as soon as she's gone, We'll trick Terrence into putting on the truth gizmo and find out the truth about him once and for all. Nancy. 
Wait a moment. I've got something for you, my darling. It's gone. The truth helmet. I... But I left it here. Oh, it's got to be around here somewhere. Oh, we haven't a lot of time. Come on. I forgot to give you this. A little present to celebrate our anniversary. Do you realize it's exactly 17 days to the day since we first met? Robert Redford, eat your heart out. What is it? A beautiful hat. For a beautiful lady. Try it for size. Oh, are you okay? Oh, right as rain, darling. Oh, well, I hope my, my new hat looks as good on me. <laughs> etch? This ain't no etch. I nicked it from that Angelo bloke. What? Yes, I thought it might come in a bit handy to help con in a bit more dosh out of you. Terrence? I'll leave it out, darling. I ain't a Terrence. Terry Smith, that's me. If you want a decent boat to get down the peck of my street, Terry Smith will sort you out of the cracker. But you said you were Terrence Crichton Smythe, and we were supposed to get married. Oh, you rich yanks will believe anything. I just strung you along to get my hands on your cash. I'd sooner marry a walk oh. than marry you. Oh, dear, you can be to my mother later. That's what it's all right. It's all right. I can oh, deal with it. Oh, I'm a gullible rich yank, am I? That's right, though, yeah. Uh -huh. And you were stringing me along the whole time? Every last minute. Uh-huh. And uh, you'd sooner marry a... What was it? A walk hog. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that was good fun. Graham McGrath is with us from the Sea Dragon, which starts tomorrow. We've got a little clip. Tell us a little bit about the story. What's it about? Um, well, it starts off, mm. I get uh, kidnapped by the Vikings. Yeah. Um, end up befriending one of them, mm. um, Thormod the Viking. He's, mm. You uh, play Justin, I don't play you? Justin yeah. there. Yeah. Oh, there Just, you are! Justin the Briton. curly hair. <laughs> and we're off to avenge Thormod's uh, father's death there. Yes. And um, we end up having a big fight with Annas and Harold. Oh, it sounds exciting. It is.